What's up? This is Mike Williams, GetSelfDriven.com, and today we're going to talk about why people buy. And if you're asking yourself, this guy always wears the same red shirt because it's the same day, right? I don't wear the same shirt every day. I'm just going ham on videos today because I got so much value inside of me that I think I got to send to the marketplace. So why do people buy, right? The number one reason why people buy is they buy based on emotion. They buy because they feel they need it, right? When they really don't. Right? That's because that's how we buy. We buy the things that we want, not that the things that we actually need. Because if, if 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 most people, if all people just brought exactly what they needed in life, exactly what they needed on a day to day basis, we would be in better financial position because we wouldn't be spending more than what we actually earn. So for example, if I need a car, I don't have to get a BMW. I don't have to get a Nissan Altima or a Nissan Maxima. Right? I don't have to get those things. I can get a Toyota Camry. I can get a, 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 a Toyota Sentra, right? Because cause all I need is a car. But people buy based on emotion, right? They want to buy the car that's going to give them the looks from different people, right? That's going to allow them to get the girl, right? Or that's going to allow them to be the boss chick or whatever the case may be, right? That's what they're going to do. And they're going to end up spending maybe 200 more than what they actually can afford per month on this particular car. Right? But let's turn this around to being a salesperson. Let's put you in the seat of the seat. Maybe you're a salesperson right now and you want to sell somebody something. Right? So you, you see this person, you notice you don't know you don't know nothing about this person. You don't really know what they need, but it's your job to find it exactly what it is that they need. Okay? And how do you do that? You ask questions. Question upon question upon question until you finally get to the root. So for example, if you work from home and you're trying to get somebody into your business, right? And they say, you know, I want to work from home. All right, great. Why do you want to work from home? I want to be able to make $1,000 a day. Great. You want to make $1,000 a day. Why do you want to make $1,000 a day? Right? Dig deep. Uh, well, I got a few bills to pay. Um, and, you know, I got some kids in school. I, you know, I, I just want to be free. You just want to be free? All right, cool. What kind of bills do you have? Well, you know, I got the regular mortgage and, you know, a couple of credit cards. But most importantly, um, I got a lot of medical bills. Oh, you got medical bills. Your medical bills or your spouse's medical bills, your child's medical bills. Well, you know, my child, um, you know, my child has a disability and, you know, it, it, it's it's a burden on me. The bills is a lot, um, but I have to because it's my child. Oh, OK, no problem. I, I, I get it. I totally understand. Right. So now you really know the root. You're at the emotion now. So when you decide to sit, you know, when you decide to offer somebody something, you know, you remember that conversation. You know, based on all the questions that you asked them, you actually listened in, and, 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 and now you're going to drill down on that emotion. Well, Mr. Prospect, I understand that, you know, your child is, has a disability and, and the, the bills are a burden on you. If there was an opportunity that could really help you to put yourself in a position where those bills won't be a problem, where you can actually make the money to actually create the time to spend with your disabled, dis disabled son or daughter. If there was something out there for you that you could do in a few simple steps that can take you from point A to point B from where you are to where you want to be, is there something you're interested in? Now, once you've tapped into, into that type of emotion, you think they're going to tell you no? You think they're not going to ask you more questions about your opportunity? Absolutely. See, so many people get on the Internet and they just started bashing their links everywhere, everywhere. Not, not, they don't even know if this person needs an opportunity. Maybe this person is actually doing good in their own opportunity and don't need yours. Right? And maybe that person can just be a, 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 someone you can collaborate with. Right, But if you don't know what people actually want, based on asking questions and listening, you're never going to find that emotion that's going to trigger a sale. Right? People don't buy because of the opportunity. They buy the opportunity of what it can do for them. You see what I'm saying? It goes far deeper than money. Oh, man, that was just a small tippet of why people buy guys I just wanted to share that with you you want to learn more of kooky sales techniques and things about you know getting people to you know be just be an influence 
on people you know in a positive way don't do this stuff in a negative way it's got to be in a positive way I want you to visit my website right link below it's my blog you can check out my blog I got tons of videos from uh, from sales to home based business to getting leads to even health and wellness so many different things you can check out the link below on my blog but this is Mike Williams get self driven dot com I'm glad you guys decide to stop by and watch this video uh, subscribe comment share and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video peace